Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today it's a real quick one, but it's kind of a PSA. Now if you have any of the GMK Fake Via uh, keyboards, which include the GMK87, the GMK67-S, and the GMK81, um, then you may have experienced some weird issues with Via, but primarily where the windows key doesn't work and you have to hit the alt so you have to switch from mac to windows and back um, there is a firmware update now i've only been running it for about a day and kind of going between all three but they do seem to be a little bit more stable um, so there are links down below i've gone ahead and put it up on my dropbox and we're just going to go through it here real quick for each of the keyboards there's going to be a different zip file if you download that zip file and you extract it there's going to be an exe file in there that usually will start with the name of the keyboard model you're going to want to go ahead and double click on that and when it opens up you're going to want to make sure that you're doing that you that it when you open up that executable you're going to want to make sure that it shows a check mark a green check mark if you only have a start button don't do anything you may have already flashed it or your keyboard may have already come with the newer firmware so there's nothing you need to do um, but as soon as you see that green check mark you can go ahead and hit start it only takes about 30 seconds the keyboard will reboot but i have not had the need to switch from mac to windows and i was having to do it almost on a daily basis uh, with the GMK, I believe the 87. But, so that goes away. Now, they also include a new custom tool or a new version, but it doesn't seem to be any better. It still takes a while. If you do anything while it's uploading, it's gonna crash and you're gonna have to start it all over again. Basically, you wanna pick your animation, upload it and just leave it alone for a while. Like, go have a cup of coffee, come back, as long as you give it enough time, it will go through the process and it will um, upload the image to either one or two, slot one or two. So I just wanted to go ahead. Um, I've been trying to get into better communication with Zoya. I have their email, but they just don't seem to respond. They seem to only use it for sending out. But I at least I was like, listen, hey, I've bought all these keyboards from you guys. Can you guys please send me? The firmware update because i had heard from uh, on discord on our discord server um, somebody said that there is there was a firmware update for the 67-s but i asked them for the firmware for the gmk keyboards and they sent me all three so again gmk 81 gmk 67s or the gmk 87 there's there's a file there's a link down below for each and every one of them i'm also including both a link to an animated nyan cat that is in landscape mode as well as a nyan cat that's square just so that you guys if you just need an animation just to test to upload these have worked on the keyboards that i that i have and i've uploaded them just to, so you have a animation that you can test that you can go ahead and upload to either the gmk 87 or the gmk 81 which have the more the landscape screen or the GMK 67S, which is a square screen. So again, if you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. I do hope that this takes care of that issue for you. And like I said, I've only played with Vi a little bit, but it seems a lot more stable than it did previously. And it seems to react a lot quicker. Whereas before the keyboard would like, it just did some weird things on Vi. It seems to be a little bit more stable. Now this is fake via because it's not built on qmk they have a closed source firmware on the the actual keyboard and it's communicating using the via protocol so that's why the via interface you know thinks that it's a via keyboard but that's why you have to use the json file um, in this uh update there were also i only saw a couple of slight differences but there are some new json files as well so you have the custom tool, the firmware updater, and new JSON files for both the 2.4 and USB mode for these keyboards. So again, I hope this helps you guys out and gets rid of that just 
pesky little issue with why is my Windows key not working and having to flip back and forth between Windows and Mac mode, this should take care of it. Um, when I flashed it, it did not seem to erase any of my existing um, animations on there. So, it, and it still has the Zoya boot animation. I hope this helps. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keep on.